Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to Gail's Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to make a lovely low carb bacon wrap meatloaf. It's one of my favorites and I thought it was time I shared it with you. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So this is a very simple recipe but it's so delicious and it's getting cold outside so it's nice to put the oven on and have meatloaf and um, scalp potatoes but make it with something else other than potatoes. So I just have a small bowl and I'm going to put in a half a cup of almond meal in there. And then I'm going to, I'm just adding the dry ingredients together so I can mix it up. I have a tablespoon of basil, dry basil. I have a teaspoon of herbamere. Now I'll just show you the herbamere in case you don't know this spice because I just love this spice. And if you don't have it, then put in a teaspoon of salt in, in its place. And then I've got a half a teaspoon of pepper. And I've been teased before, but here's my smallest whisker in the world. I'm just going to mix this up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over two pounds of ground beef. I'm using lean ground beef. So I've got my ground beef and that's about two pounds and then I'm going to put a chopped medium-sized onion. Okay, then I'm going to add in a tablespoon of minced garlic. Now the garlic I've been using I get it at Costco and it's a Kirkland brand and I just love it. I guess I'm just getting lazy and I just don't want to use the uh, mincer and mince them all up all the time. So now we're going to add in one beaten egg. We'll put everything in together here. And I have a quarter cup of no sugar added Heinz ketchup and I'll show it to you. It's quite decent um, for low carb and I just like a little bit of ketchup in my meatloaf. When my mom, when I was a kid, my mom used to make it all the time is she put Campbell's tomato soup in, Campbell's vegetable soup, uh, onions, salt and pepper and you know what? It was delicious but we're trying to cut back on the carbs, so we're going to do it a little bit different. Okay, now we're going to add in a half a cup of heavy cream. Keep it nice and moist. Now, I'm just going to... Now I'm going to add in my almond flour and all the spice mixture. So I went off video and I just mixed it really, really well. So. I'm going to move my bowl over and I have, this is actually my pan that I use for baking my, my bread in. And what I did was I took some saran wrap and I put it overlapping and inside the sides and the bottom of the, the pan. And I've added in one, two, three, four, five, six slices of bacon. So now since I've got that in there, we're going to add in our meat mixture. This is very good. I'm going to get this all in here. I'm going to wash my hands and then I'll press it down and get it organized. 
Okay, I've washed my hands, so now I'm just going to move this around. And then we're going to take our bacon. Hmm, someone's texting me here. I apologize. And we're going to fold our bacon over. And then I'm going to get my baking sheet and we're going to flip this over onto the baking sheet. So, see I've got my plastic overlapping on the sides here. Now I'm going to take my Pyrex dish. You can do any size you want, just as long as it fits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down and then we're going to flip it over. Like that. And we'll take out and look at look how beautiful that is. Everything's all in order. So I just have to take off my plastic and I have a beautiful meatloaf. So I've got the oven on at 400 and I'm going to put it in the middle rack and I'm going to bake it for approximately 50 minutes. So I've taken it out of the oven and let it cool down. Now you're going to find there's a lot of grease here. So even when you calculate what the carb count is, or the calories even, look at the amount of grease that you are not going to be taking into your system. One thing you could possibly do is um, maybe take some nice whip, whipping cream and mix that in a pot and it would be quite, quite good. There we go. Doesn't that look delicious? So here is my delicious low carb bacon wrap meatloaf. It's really, really tasty. I think you'd quite like it. Mm-hmm. Nice flavor. And you could take the grease that's on in the pan and add a little bit of cream and it could make a gravy as well. You also can put the um, broiler on to crisp up your bacon a bit more if you'd like to do that. That makes it quite nice as well. Very moist. Very good. Anyway, if you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.